So now let's talk about creating a box plot. That was reading a box plot, but how do you create them? It can be a little bit more complicated, but maybe not as complicated as you think. The first thing you're going to get is a set of data. You're going to get some numbers. So we're going to do this. We're going to draw this whole thing out. I've got what looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers here, random numbers. And to create a um, box plot, the first thing we want to do is put these numbers in order from least to greatest. So I'll do that real quick. Um, and I'll start with my smallest number. I always like to write them down and cross them out. So my smallest number, I think, is 10. So I'll put a 10 right here. I'll try to write them neatly for you guys. My next number up after 10 seems to be 15. So you can follow along in here. I'm going to write them in order least to greatest. After 15, I look to have 17. After 17, I'm going to go with all my teens. I think we're getting into the 20s here. So I got 20. After 20, I'm going to go, oh, oh, missed one. Don't let me miss one, guys. Uh, it, I was not done with the teens. In fact, I had 19 right there. So 19, then it'll be 20. Sorry about that. Skip that. Going too fast. Don't go too fast. Um, after 20, we're going to go to 23. After 23, we go to 25. And like I said, when you cross them out, it kind of helps you um, to not miss one, kind of like I just did. Um, early, we have 27 and then 29. And a little bit kind of mixed up there, written together. But here they are in order from least to greatest, okay? Write these a little nicer. 10, 15, 17, 19, 20, 23, 25, 27, and then 29. Cool. All right. So I got all my numbers in order from least to greatest. I always just do one last count. Make sure I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's exactly what I should have. Um, I don't know what just happened there. Seem to be erasing some numbers. Ah, there we have it. Okay. So now we're going to create our box plot. First thing we need to do is create the number line below the box plot. So we're going to kind of freehand this thing. So we'll draw this straight as we can. That's pretty straight, quite honestly. It's pretty impressive. Um, and we need to number our number lines. So what I always look at is what values do we have? I wouldn't just start at anything and number like from 0 to 100 here. It kind of depends. My lowest value is 10. My highest value is 29. So maybe we could start at 5 and just go by 5s maybe to 30. That might be the best way to number this thing out. So I'll do it in, in, in blue here. So we'll go like maybe 5... 10, 15, try to make it as even as you can, 20, 25, and then we'll just go one more, 30. And if we wanted to continue, we could, but we really don't need to because that's all of our values. Um, so now that I have my number line drawn, <clears throat> um, it's time to create the box plot. So um, first thing I can do is I want to find the median, the middle of the data median. And um, it's odd numbers, so I just need to find the middle number. If it's nine of them, I have one, basically one, two, three, four there, one, two, three, four there. The middle number should be 20. So I know my line inside of the box is going to be right on 20. So I've just found the median. And now... I'm going to look at finding my quartiles, my first quartile, my lower quartile, and my upper quartile. So now I have my data separated into two halves. I have that half there, and I have that half there. Well, to find out where my quartiles are, I need the middle. I need the middle of this half, the middle number, or the, the median of this one, and then I need the median of this one. Well, it's kind of tricky because I actually have two numbers that are in the middle in this case. Sometimes you'll have one. In this case, because it was odds, I'm going to have two. So when you have two numbers for the median, if you'll remember, you actually have to add them up and divide by two. Well, I know if you add 15 plus 17 and divide by two, you're going to get 16. You're going to get the middle number. So 16 should be where my box begins. So I'll put it right after 15, just like that, maybe a bit straighter just like that. And then I can do my quartile for this one. So my middle numbers here, I actually have two of them here. It's 25 and 27. 
if you add those up and divide by 2, you're actually going to get 26, the number that is in between. So that means I'll have a line that kind of goes right after 25. And this now creates the box part of my box plot. Now from there, I just need to add the lines or the whiskers. And remember, the line is going to go all the way to my lowest value. What is my lowest value? My lowest value is 10. So I should have a line that goes all the way to this right over here. So that'll be where I go. And then I have a line that goes to my highest value, which is 29. So not quite to 30, just right before 30. And I'm going to go like that. And there is my box plot. So I started with that data in the upper right hand corner. I put it in order from least to greatest. I located first the median right over here to get my little purple line. And then I found the middle of the first half of the data, which was 16, the middle of the second half of the data, which was 26. Those gave me my lines here to get the box, and then I just extended them. My beginning of the data was at 10, right there, and my end of the data was at 29. So that's how we can take this and create a box and whiskers plot. So why don't you give it a try here. You can pause the video, you can work ahead. Um, Again, here's the quartiles just as a refresher. Um, but one little thing I'll add is when you have quartile, quartiles and quarters like four, um, like 25%, which basically means each time you have data, 25% of the data is there, 25% of the data is in that quartile, 25% is there, and then 25% is there. So that's why they say interquartile range inside the quarters when you have that. Alright, so this is what I was talking about. You can pause the video and work ahead. Daily high temperatures for some days last month are shown. Make a box plot of the data. Here's your data in the upper right hand corner. You're going to want to put it in order from leads to greatest. Um, locate the median to find the middle of your box. Then locate your quartiles. Then try to create your box plot. Pause the video, give it a shot, and then unpause it and see if you do it right. Go ahead. Okay, so Here's what I got when I put this together. I ordered the data from least to greatest. Started with 75 and got all the way to 94. I think I did it accurately. To find the middle of my data, there's actually two numbers in the middle. It was 83 and 84. So when you add them up and divide by 2, you get 83.5. You get right in the middle. So that's why I put my median inside there. Um, and then I looked at the first half. Okay, The first half was right here. The middle number was 78 so that's why my data starts here at 78 my second half was right here the middle number on this one is 89 so that's why my data ended in the box anyways at 89 that's where my quartile ended and then I just extended the whiskers or the lines to my lowest value which was 75 right there and then I extended it to my highest value, which was all the way to 94 right there. So hopefully you were able to do this accurately too, um, creating a box plot.